Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video here on Swalt Academy. My name is Gib Moses, and in today's video, let's take a look at Litecoin against the USD in the short term. I'm going to be giving you my short term targets. Guaranteed, we're going to go up there. Okay. Now that we broke a certain resistance that I spoke about on the Discord, your buy stops should be filled by now. My series going off, my Facebook is down, Instagram is down whatsapp is down is anyone else having issues with their social media platforms because um, i know there's an outage going on so if anyone else out there is experiencing this issue i'm in canada i'm having this issue i can't log into my facebook and instagram this might be their way of causing a correction in the social media platforms because they're basically reaching levels right now of major resistance levels where they need a correction to the downside. This might be their narrative for the outline in the news, uh, why social media is going down for a correction because they had an outage, uh, stuff like that. Okay. We'll cover that more later on with our next videos. Uh, when I do Facebook and in Instagram analysis, let's now focus on Litecoin. Okay. All right, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I'm going to start off by looking at today's total market cap. We're currently sitting at 2.15 trillion. We're up 0.75. Bitcoin is up 0.80. Ethereum down 1.59. XRP down 3%. And Litecoin down 3.80%. So speaking of Litecoin, where is my next target for Litecoin? Let's find out. So right here, looking at the shorter time frame, we have a nice falling wedge formation, confirmed breakout. And that's exactly what we see with our fractal method right over here. And how do you measure your target? Pretty self-explanatory. You take from top or from bottom to top and you drag this all the way to the breakout, which gives you the next target. In this case, it should have been around to 12 to around 220 and that's exactly what we got now looking at the current fractal that we're printing we have the same exact pattern of course let's take our target exactly to the breakout and that takes us exactly to around give or take 217 let's not only rely on this pattern method i want to see our fractal method see series going off randomly I don't know if it's our case. You know what? Let me turn this off. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my fib levels, measure from top to bottom. And that gives us our 1272 fib level, which has some confluence with our 186 for our local wave. Okay. So I'm getting a lot of confluence around 211 to approximately $220 for our next target. How long is it going to take? That's something up to the algorithm to decide. Uh, it might take a week. It might be this week, next week. That's something that we're going to find out. But something that we do know uh, for sure is our next target is, is around $211 to approximately $220. All right. So that's my next zone for taking profit. This is a short-term swing trade. Uh, if I have any further updates, I'm going to hop on the Discord and let you guys know. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.